Hi everybody, um, happy Sunday afternoon. I'm Laura. And I'm Ella. And today we thought we would bring you some partner yoga. So this partner yoga um, can be done with kind of uh, parent and child or uh, really with any partner. I uh, just wanted to give you something to do uh, if you're stuck inside. Um, and of course this video will be available for replay anytime so you can practice over and over again. So we're gonna we're going to start with some breath work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and you're going to spin so that your partner um, and your back are against each other. So we're going to begin to sit up nice and tall and we're going to interlock elbows. So sitting up nice and tall. My legs are crossed, Ella's legs are straight, whatever works best for you. You're going to close your eyes and we're going to begin to sit up really nice and tall. Okay, and we're squeezing in a little bit and we're going to begin just to find our breath. So with your eyes closed, just begin to inhale and to exhale. And just let your body soften into the earth a little bit. So as the inhale, it's gonna pull you a little bit higher toward the sky, you're getting long in the spine. And the exhale, your shoulders are sinking and softening down into the earth. And you're using each other for a little bit of support here to stay nice and tall. So just nice, slow breathing in and out with your eyes closed. Take two more slow, deep breaths. Last one. Good. And then we're going to take this breath a little bit deeper into our belly. So as we inhale, we're going to get really, really long in the top of our heads. Breathing into the belly, and as we exhale, we're going to let that breath all go through the nose. So each time you breathe in, you get a little longer, and you breathe a little deeper into yourself. And then you exhale, and you soften a little more. You're going to take three more slow breaths. Good, just feeling yourself relaxing, breathing out any tension, just becoming present here for the next few minutes for these poses that we'll practice together. And we're going to begin with a fun breath, we'll call it a snake breath. So with the snake breath, you're going to inhale through your nose and you're going to exhale the entire breath out through your mouth with a s. So we're gonna inhale through the nose, fill all the way. And exhale. And once all the breath is gone, you inhale again and fill. Then exhale and empty. Good. Three more. Last one, do it together. Inhale, fill. Exhale it out. Okay, just a really nice way to get a little bit of grounding for the beginning of our practice. So we're going to go ahead and unbind the arms and we're going to spin so that we're facing each other. So Ella and I are going to face each other. Come back here. Good, and we're in a cross-legged seated position. So when we're in this cross-legged seated position, we're sitting up nice and tall and our bums are pressing down to the earth. We're scooping our belly in and we're lifting our hearts and we're looking at each other. Good, so we're continuing to breathe and we're going to take our right arm, we're gonna reach it around behind us and our left arm is going to come in front of us and reach for our partner's arm that's behind their back. So as we inhale, we look at each other and we lift up. And as we exhale, we spin away. Good, inhale, lift up, get longer. Exhale, all the breath out and spin. Okay, we're gonna keep moving, lifting. 
Good, and drawing our shoulders back and open. Last two. You're gonna feel this across the front of your chest and your heart. Sit up nice and tall. Last one, inhale, lift up, lift up. Good, exhale, spin. Good, draw both your shoulders back. Sit up really nice and tall. Take one more big breath. Good, exhale the breath out. Inhale, come to center, unbind your arms. Walk your hands across your body to the other side and just give yourself a little counter stretch. Good, we're gonna come back to center. We're going to cross the other shin in front this time. So switch the cross of your legs, good. And this time, sitting up nice and tall with our bums pressing into the floor, we're gonna take our left arm extended wide and reach it around behind us and the right arm comes to grab that hand of your partner behind their back. Same thing, inhale, lift up. Exhale, spin and let all the breath go. So you're spinning away from your partner. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, spin. Lifting on the inhale, good. You can even close your eyes. Spin on the exhale. Last two, good. And spin, last one, lift it up. Good, and spin away. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Take a big, deep inhale breath. Big exhale breath. Good, slowly let go of your partner's hand. Come back to center. Reach the arms around and do a counter twist again. Good, nice twisting in through the spine. So we're going to slowly make our way into a standing mountain pose. So we begin to slowly come up. Oh, I'm sorry, not quite yet. We're going to do one more, seated. So Ella's going to move to the lengthwise, lengthwise on the mat, and we're going to extend our legs straight. Now, if you're really, if you're really, if you're really tight in your legs, you're going to go ahead and you'll bend your knees as much as you need to. I'm gonna move back a little bit so you can see Ella too. Okay, so my legs are straight, Ella's are bent, and that's okay. We're going to inhale both of our arms up to the sky and make sure our bum is really firmly planted in the earth. And as we exhale, we're going to come forward and we're going to grab onto each other's hands. We're gonna inhale and come up a little. Good, and exhale, Ella will pull me forward a bit. So inhale, I'll pull Ella just a tiny bit. Exhale, good, we're pressing our feet into each other. Good. And we're getting longer here in our spines. Lift, good. One more, beautiful. Last one, beautiful. Now Ella's gonna hold me down, she's gonna pull a little bit, and when she pulls a little bit, I'm going to get longer in the spine, I'm gonna draw my shoulders down my back, and I'm going to fold forward, just taking one more breath. Good, now it's Ella's turn. So she's gonna come forward until she feels it in the back of her legs. She's gonna take a big deep breath in. Big deep breath out. We're pushing our feet into each other. We're getting longer. Good, and when you're ready, you're going to come up. Inhale the arms up, good job. Exhale, hands down. Perfect, okay, so now we're going to come to a standing mountain pose. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stand up and we're going to face the camera. You're going to close your eyes and I want you to take five slow, deep breaths. So with eyes closed, you're standing nice and tall. Good. One more breath. Good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to turn to face each other now. So the next, the next uh, posture that we're going to do, we're going to back up a little bit from each other and we're going to be stretching out into the lower back, lengthening in the lower back and finding length in our chest. So we're going to take our hands towards each other, scoop our bellies in and we're going to begin to lean forward toward each other, letting our hearts move inward. Good. Good. Maybe you give your partner a kiss. Good, we're gonna take maybe three more big deep breaths. So you're letting your heart come forward, letting that dip in the low back be prominent. If that's okay, you're scooping your belly back and in. Taking one more breath, the knees are bent a little bit so they're not locked. Good, and as we inhale, we're gonna slowly come up. Beautiful, 
And we can roll our shoulders back a couple times. Good, nice and slow. Good. Next one we're going to come into is going to be really good for your quadriceps and your abs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our hands forward. We're going to bend down. Okay, we're going to bend down so that our thighs are parallel with the earth or as best that they can be. And we're going to extend our arms. Good. And when we extend our arms here, let me back up a bit. Come towards me. We extend our arms. There we go. Nice and long. So your knees are hip width apart. You're sinking your shoulders down. Good. And you're nice and low. And you're kind of supporting each other. So your heart is open. Good. Your belly scoop back. Nice work. You're going to take a couple slow, deep breaths. And you can always come up and down if you need to. Coming back into the pose. You can hold any of these poses for as short or as long as you like. Good. We're going to stay down. Take one more big deep breath. Good. Inhale, come up. Nice work. Okay, so this will be good. The final pose that we're all for you. And then uh, there'll be one bonus pose for those of you who want to go there. So this one um, is a fun one. It's a, it's a take on a warrior. So we're both doing a warrior at the same time. So we're going to be facing each other and we're going to step forward with our right leg. And you can't see, but our knees are at the same level. Our knees are connecting. So our knees are connected here. The front ankle and knee are in alignment. We're scooping our bellies in and we're lifting our arms to the sky. The back foot is flat against the earth. You're pushing through the outer edge. Good, and you're coming in as if you were coming into a warrior one. So you're bending into that front knee and our knees are against each other. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and wrap that left arm around our bodies. My other left. <laughs> there you go, and we're gonna reach for our partner's arm behind, good. We're gonna inhale and lift and draw our shoulders back and exhale, we're gonna look at each other and we're gonna sink, good, into that front leg. We're gonna take a couple slow, deep breaths and we connect our gaze so we watch each other. Ella needs a nap after this. <laughs> good, last breath. Good, we're gonna inhale, lift our arms up. Good, and we're gonna exhale, press into our front leg. We're gonna step the legs together. Good, we're gonna take the opposite leg forward now. So left leg comes forward, connect at the knee, press the back foot into the earth, face your partner. Good, and this time we're gonna take and lift the arms up nice and high. Wrap our right arm around our back. <laughs> Again. <laughs> And then you're going to grab onto the arm behind you. Inhale, lift your heart. Nice and high. Look at me. Good. Exhale, sink down. Good. Whoa. Oh, Inhale, my. lift. Exhale, sink. Good. Take two more nice deep breaths. Good. Scoop your belly back and in. Open your heart. Good. Last breath. Good, we're gonna inhale, lift our arms up nice and high. Good, exhale, step together. All right, so you can either choose to end your practice here um, or we're gonna offer one more pose, a bonus pose for those of you who are interested. You don't have to do it. Um, it's just a fun one that Ella and I like to do sometimes. Okay, so the last posture that we're going to do um, is a, we'll call it a double dog. And so Ellen and I like to play with this sometimes. It's really, really important that when you're doing this, A, you have a really stable downward facing dog, the larger of the two people, okay? And when your child or your partner puts their, head, their feet on you, it's going to be at those back of your hip bones. So there's two hip bones, you can find them in the back. You have the front of the pelvis and those two back hip bones, okay? You're going to take, and Ella is going to put her feet there, with her toes facing up, and you're going to see in a moment. We wanna make sure that we're not pressing into the low back. So I'm going to come into a downward facing dog, and I'm gonna come into a really nice, strong, stable downward facing dog. I'm gonna spread all 10 fingers as wide as I can. I'm gonna scoop my belly in, tuck my toes in underneath, lift up to the sky, and then just take a moment to get set. So maybe pedal up the legs, nod the head. Okay, get really strong in the belly. I'm pressing into my hands, and Ella is going to go ahead now and get ready. So Ella is going to go ahead and get into basically an inverted L. So she's gonna back up, she's gonna walk her hands in towards me and take her feet 
onto those areas on my back. So Ella, you're gonna probably walk yourself forward a little bit, good. And then Ella's going to take and she's going to press her feet into my back a little bit here. Good, and I'm gonna get longer in my dog. So as she presses her feet in, good. She's gonna walk her hands in so that her arms are in alignment good with her shoulders. Good, and she's pressing back. And we're gonna take a couple slow deep breaths. You okay, Ella? Yeah. Okay, big inhale breath. Keep pressing your feet back into me. Push them back. And I'm getting a really nice stretch up the back of my legs. Last inhale breath. Good. Last exhale. Now she's going to slowly exit over, over to one side, or you can straddle me. That's okay. <laughs> Walk forward. Good. Come off of me. Good. And we're going to come down, and we're going to come into a child's pose. So we're going to go ahead, take our crowns down to the earth. Good. You can extend your hands forward or behind you. Good. And you're going to take a couple slow, deep breaths now. So just breathing really nice and slow. Heart rate might be up a little bit. And so when you're breathing in your child's pose, you're gonna see if you can breathe into the back of your body. So get the back of your ribs to fill up to the sky with air, with breath. Good, we're gonna take three more of those breaths. Last breath. Good, and then we're gonna slowly walk your hands in towards your body. Good, we're gonna end with a couple of Brahmari breaths, so bumblebee breaths. So with Brahmari breath, you inhale through your nose and you exhale by pressing those fingers, your first fingers into your ears and humming out. So you're going to do that three times. Inhale, fill. And exhale, empty all the breath. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Ella, for being my partner today. It was an honor um, in uh, guiding you in your practice. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns, uh, you know where to reach us. Have a wonderful day and namaste. Hope you liked it.